to see you here today. Uh, that sounds a bit more normal. And uh, nothing is normal about today's service. Uh, welcome to our special Reconnect Nativity service. It's a real nervous joy for me to welcome you today, because uh, I sort of know what's going to happen next. Uh, as we begin our service, uh, some announcements for you. And first of all, our Reconnect services, in case you're not sure exactly what those are. As you know, because of the pandemic and all the rules, not only in church, but in society at large, I think we have become very disconnected from our normal routines, haven't we? And we've become disconnected from things that we used to regularly do together. And it's really quite disrupted us in all sorts of areas of life. Uh, we as a church recognize this, uh, and we want to try to move towards our community being as it was, connected strongly together on Sunday mornings with such a wonderful wide age range worshiping in this building on Sunday mornings. Uh, and so our reconnect services are a very deliberate attempt to reconnect our generations. We want young adults in worship. We want young families in worship. We want teenagers in worship. We want children in worship. Uh, we are glad of our YouTube service, and we are glad that that is allowing people to connect into the worship time if they don't feel confident coming out or are unable to come out. And many people today are simply unable to come out. We'll actually have our voting in 2022, uh, but we need to get our voters list sorted out beforehand. Uh, and we're excited about what God has in mind for us as a, or as a congregation. Please do pray and take part in this election. And then it is with deep sadness uh, that today I announce the death of one of our uh, devoted members, Mr. David McConaughey passed away this past week in the early hours of the 8th of December. And we remember his wife, Veronica, in our prayers. His funeral service took place in this building yesterday. These words truly are important for us at Christmas. Isaiah chapter 9, 
verse 2 and verses 6 to 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government of peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Let us turn to God in prayer before we have our opening praise. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we praise you for the wonderful gift of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. We thank you that you loved us so much to send your Son to give him as our Savior. We thank you that he came as the baby laid in the manger. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. We thank you he lived a perfect life, and we know we haven't. We thank you he died on the cross, that we might be free from sin. Lord God, we know we have a way to know you, to live with you on earth. to go to be with you forever when we leave this earth. We thank you for Jesus, the best gift ever given. Speak to our hearts today so that we would receive what you have to offer us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I'm going to hand over to one of our characters in the nativity, and I'll be back in a moment. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 you have to do better than that, right? Hold on, do that again, do that again. <laughs> good morning, Hill Rides. Hey, let's go away from upstairs. <laughs> Very good. Sorry, let me sort this out. Well, hello and welcome. Um, it's very good to see you all here this morning, online and in the building. Um, I am going to be your host for this morning. Uh, I am Harold the Herald, in case you didn't realise. Uh, think of Graham Norton with tinsel. Uh, just to introduce what is going on this morning, although um, now that I'm standing here on my own, everybody's left me, I don't actually know what's going on. No, not, that's not strictly true. Um, we were actually expecting a very, very special guest this morning, um, rapper Ellen. I'm sure you know her. Let's have a wow for rapper Ellen. Whoa, Whoa yes. Now, rapper Ellen, unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, is unable to be with us in person this morning. So, using technology, we're going to video link, just like they do at the Oscars, uh, straight into rapper Ellen. But before we do that, uh, I want us just to start off. Now, the service will proceed just... Go with the flow is basically the easiest way to do it. Um, and, but stay in your seats. It's probably easiest and safest. But we're going to start off uh, just before we go any further and before we link straight into Robert Ellen. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have introduced as well at really special short notice um, and really excited. Robert Ellen will be joined this morning by Robert G. So look out for him. I want a big whoop when Robert G comes on. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just start off with a lovely wee carol to get us all in the mood, away in a manger. Just keep your seats.
My name is Robert Allen, I come from Ballyclare and I need to get telling of the things that I've seen, the miraculous things. A baby was born and is God's favourite king. A baby is a king, I hear you say. I knew, right? He was born in some hay, but I promise it's the truth you'll understand in a while. I wrote it all down in this brown stripy file. So listen real close to my rhymes and my beats, it'll blow you away, knock the socks off your feet. It's a Christmas story like you've never heard before, so get involved, you'll be left wanting more. The story is joyful by something God gave. It's the story of Jesus who came to save me and you from all of our sins. Yes, the little baby Jesus, he ultimately wins. So sit back and relax, but get ready to speak. Don't know how this will go, we only planned it this week, but I know you'll all love it. I really hope so. Let's have some fun and I'll tell you all I know. So yes, hello and welcome to our nativity service this year. As I've said, my name is Robert Ellen and I'm basically trying to get the Christmas number one this year. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. There's no way with the competition from Mariah and Bublé and all, but I really do believe I can get it this year. All those Christmas songs that you hear, they're not about anything spectacular. They seem to miss the real point of Christmas. But that's where I come in and why I think I can snatch the top spot this year. You see, I'm writing a song about something that I saw, I actually witnessed it, that truly blew my mind. Basically, there was a baby and he was called Jesus and he was born and turns out he's God's son. But not only God's son, he's God's forever king, like king forever. But like, there's a whole lot of the story to tell about his mom and dad and the journey they faced and angels and kings and stables. Yeah, stables. So if that doesn't sound like a Christmas number one, then I really don't know what does. But here's the thing and where you guys come in. I've got this rap idea, I've got the lyrics in my head, but I need to run it past you all basically to tell you the story through my song to just get more comfortable with it and again to try to get that Christmas number one but obviously I'm not physically with you guys this morning 2021 and all of that but fear not I have this great video connection that I can be with you all live this morning which is fantastic but also my good friend and rap icon rapper G is in the house for you all this morning in person and so Give a massive round of applause and warm welcome to my good friend, Robert G. Well, well look, look, I can, can see, see nothing, nothing and I can, I can hear, hear nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> If we have any hope of there being anything else, this makes sense. I should at least be able to see my notes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Robert Ellen said we're aiming for a Christmas number one this year with a brand new hit sig signal from her, God's Forever King. It's catchy. It's got a good beat. But most importantly, it speaks the truth. But we need some vocals through it also. I've heard you're all pretty good singers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I think you can nail this. I think especially, uh, well, especially over this side here, I've got every confidence you're going to nail it. Yep. Okay. So we're going to have a go. There's different parts and they're going to appear on screen behind me, I hope. And when they're up, and ask whenever you guys join in. But if they don't appear on the screen, just listen to what I tell you to do. It needs to be loud. We're aiming for a Christmas number one here, okay? Yeah, and it's all right, because we've just got Elton John and Ed Sheeran we're up against. <laughs> don't panic if you don't think you can keep the beat or remember when to come in, because I'll prompt you guys, and I'm an expert in all this rapping business. <laughs> So, that's how we practice. Simon Kyle isn't going to sign any old rapper and single says uh, label, so we got to get this just right. So, the rap. Oh, yeah, that's good. Well done. When did I come in? He's the reason that we celebrate, the reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus. He's God's forever king. Can you do it? Yeah. Yo ho. <laughs> when do we come in again? <laughs> okay, you ready? I don't know when we're coming in. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. He's the reason that we celebrate, the reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus, he's God's forever king. He's the reason that we celebrate, the reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus. He's God's forever king. Sounds good. Let's park it there because it did sound good. <laughs> now, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Hopefully, rapper Ellen is back in her bathroom. Uh, <laughs> in Nazareth. There lived a girl, and Mary was her name. One day she was surprised because an angel came. Don't be afraid. It's good news that I bring. Soon you'll birth a boy. He's God's forever king. He's the reason that we celebrate. The reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus. He's God's forever king. Hmm. I couldn't quite hear you from my uh, hotel room, but I think we could do a bit better next time, folks. So. Rapper G, get everyone saying it nice and loud and give it a bit more oomph next time. Okay, anyways, uh, where were we? Mary? How can this be? The young girl cried. The angel said... It's true. You've never lied! You told me. This child will be the son of God. Yes, God has chosen you. Wow. That's a lot to take in, an angel appearing to Mary, saying she was the chosen one, and God's forever king too. See, I told you this was an incredible story for a song lyric. Let's sing another great song that's already written, all about angels, just like the one we just saw that I told you about. Let's stand and sing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Okay, so I hope you're keeping up with the story so far. So basically, an angel has appeared to Mary and told her she's going to give birth to a baby, a boy chosen by God. Very, very special. Anyway, let's get back into those lyrics. Rapper Ellen, are you there? Well, Mary 
Mary had a <laughs> lot of thoughts inside her head that day. She was just engaged with her wedding not far away. Much like someone else I know. Hey! Anyways, what would Joseph say? An angel came to Joseph too and gave some good advice. Don't walk away, please do not fear. Take Mary as your wife. The baby that she carries now is Jesus, God's own son. Emmanuel, the saviour king, he's the promised one. He's the, the reason, reason that, that we, we celebrate, celebrate the, the reason, reason that, that we sing. sing. The baby's name, name is Jesus, he's, he's God's forever, forever king. One day there came important news, a census was declared. As Joseph came from Bethlehem, they both should travel there. Although the child would soon be born, they journeyed on their way. But when they got there, all was full. They found no place to stay. There was a cold, dark stable, and Joseph said, that's great. We need a place to stay and rest before it gets too late. I thought she was going to tell us we're going to sing a song, but I think I'll do that then. <laughs> oh, come all ye faithful. <laughs> And Jesus was his name. He's the reason that we celebrate, the reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus. He's God's forever king. Some shepherds working in the fields were with their sheep that night when suddenly an angel came and gave them such a fright. Don't be afraid, the angel said. It's good news that I bring. A special baby was born. It's God's forever king. An angel choir lit up the sky. Glory to God they sang. Now go to Bethlehem. And off the shepherds ran. <laughs> They're not meant to be finished yet. <laughs> Do they have something else? Is there another connection coming through for rapper Ellen? Or have I got my pages mixed up? <laughs> What do we do? Is Rapper Ellen's further connection there? Oh good, Rapper Ellen's coming For back. For in the east some kings, they saw a bright new shining star. They followed where it led, although it really was quite far. To find the king, they thought they'd check where kings had lived before. So at the palace they arrived and knocked on Herod's door. King Herod was a worried man, the crown was his alone. He did not want a brand new king, not even God's own son. He called together clever men and he told him where to look. To Bethlehem this king would come, it's in God's special book. He sent the kings out on their way and told them what to do. Come back and tell me where he is so I can worship too. The kings left to find the child, the star showed them the way. It shone so bright and stopped above the house where Jesus lay. Now, this part as, as any great song, great Christmas number one needs, is a great music video. And this is where I hand over to my good friend, Rapper G, live in the house for you all, where we're going to get a bit of a music video going. So over to you, Rapper G. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll do the bit I was meant to do before that now. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to sing another song. But before we do, are you ready? Do you remember it? He's the reason that we celebrate, the reason that we sing. The baby's name is Jesus. He's God's forever king. Yes. So we're going to sing again now, and it's once in Royal David City. Once in So, rapper Ellen is right. We've got to the stage that these three kings come along. And because Jesus is so special, they traveled from far away to bring him gifts. And here they come with the gifts they've brought. To bring this part of life, we want to have the viewers of the music video and the listeners of the song get a glimpse as to what it truly was like that day whenever these special visitors arrived, the kings. We want to reenact this song. We want it to be beautiful. We want it to be articulate. We want it to just be so authentic. So I hope the kings can nail it for us. A little context for you. We had a creative vision. We want the kings handing over their gifts, coming in, beautiful, with the music, with the baby, with Mary and Joseph, so meaningful, so wonderful. And so I've asked some people to represent the kings, and they've prepared so hard. They're going to bring this alive for us to show us what actually happened that day. So welcome our three kings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Kings? Kings, what has happened? Um, you, you told us to dress as kings. King of rock and roll? You're Elvis. Yeah, King of rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> Elvis. What happened here? <laughs> Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> Guys, Elvis is on an Elvis. <laughs> Kings. Oh, well, that's sweet, isn't it? It's not quite what we're after. I want to have them stand here for a bit longer, though, so you can look at them. <laughs> I think we need to scratch this. You need to get harder. You need... I don't know what you need. <laughs> Tea towels? A donkey? No, that's not you. What do you need? You need, a, you need a new outfit. You need to go. It's just not right. The kings are wrong. Oh, what have we got? Our music video. Oh. Well, you do look splendid. Another day, what, we'll have to have the three Elvis show some other day. <laughs> Kings, thank you. Uh, but they found the child in Bethlehem, didn't they? And they brought their special gifts, myrrh, frankincense, and gold. And this is where our story ends. But it's not really done. For the story about Jesus is an everlasting one, bringing life and hope, peace and joy to the world that has lost its way and its darkness. God's forever king has come. So let's all shout, hooray! Hooray! Over to Harold the Herald for us again. We'll go change. <laughs> okay, let's go big hooray for the kings and for the elf, whatever, Elvis. Yeah, definitely wrong memo there, Nikki. <laughs>
Uh, and yeah, to Robert G. What? Let's hear for Robert G. Big whoa, yes. And for Robert E. at home. Yay! So look, you've all been great. Thanks very much for taking part and joining in the fun and going along with the rap. Um, so we're just going to sing a lovely wee song now, Joy to the World. Am I back to normal? I think I am. <laughs> well, I want to ask, have you the memory of having been given a really wonderful gift? Do you remember getting a Christmas gift that made you really, really happy? Maybe something you really, really wanted. I'm sure some of you might remember a Christmas gift like that and a Christmas before. Some of you are nodding. Yeah, I do too. Christmas is exciting, isn't it? We love gifts. We love to give them away. We love to get them. Children especially can't wait to open up their gifts, get the wrapping paper off, discover what's in below. I wanted to get my wrapping paper off there, I can tell you, <laughs> from being rapper G. It wasn't staying up very well. But we want to get the wrapping paper off to discover what's in there. I was like that as a child. I'm sure, children, you're like that too. Adults, I hope you're also thrilled about giving and receiving gifts. Gifts are good. Today I want to think about the wonderful gift of Jesus. When he was born, some shepherds came to visit him. And wise men, we sometimes call them. The kings came from far away. He was so, so important. This little child who was there in the manger. King of everything. That's who he is. The king of everything. At Christmas time, we remember God gave his very best gift to us. His son, Jesus. And there he was, lying in a manger, wrapped up in his cloths. A precious gift, the most valuable gift ever given. So Christmas time, we remember God sent his son. He gave him to us. We started our service with a reading, and that reading reminded us that unto us a child is born, to us a son is given. God gave his son for us. Another Bible verse tells us, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 
Why did God give his son for us? Because he loves us. Why did he send him? So we could have life that lasts forever with God. That's a wonderful story, isn't it? And I hope it makes you very, very happy to remember. No ordinary little baby. The greatest gift ever given. And so maybe you remember a gift you were given that was just so wonderful. You loved it. Well, remember Jesus, the most wonderful gift of all. We're worshiping him today. We're not just coming to church. We're telling Jesus how wonderful he is. We're telling his father in heaven how glad we are that he sent his son for us. That's what worship is. Not just coming to church, but saying to God from our heart how much he means to us. The best giver of gifts ever. The best gift ever given. So remember Jesus this Christmas time. And remember to be glad. We're going to say a prayer. And we're going to say a prayer for our Sunday morning things that we do for children at Kilbride Presbyterian. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you. You are a father God and you call us to be a church that cares for and teaches our children well and our young people. We freshly offer our children's work, youth work <coughs> and young adults work to you to be used for your glory. We offer ourselves to be positive, prayerful, hopeful, helpful, full of joy to be amongst each other worshipping because we love you. Lord, help us to do what we do for our young people well, to support it and be a part of it. Help us all to want to learn about you. Lord, help us so that the teaching is well done and the listening is well done. Lord, we promise ourselves to you to have open hearts, kind attitudes, and a heart for your glory. We especially want your glory among our young people. We thank you for all the families in our church and for those at church today or for those not able to be in church but watching from home. We especially pray for parents and young ones who we maybe haven't seen in a while or not as much as before. We especially pray for those who have maybe got out of the habit of worshipping you with others. Lord God, reconnect us, not just back together, but with you and with the love of worshipping you. When we're here, when we're at home, because we can't come out, or even any day, when we remember to pray to you and thank you for being our great God. Lord, bless our Sunday school and Bible class leaders with all they need to do so that the very best is done for our children and young people. Show them how to do this in these unusual days. And we thank you for how hard they have worked to change things, to do things in so many different ways because they had to. Lord, connect the children and young people into this, that they will receive what is good for their hearts from you. And give them hearts for worship, hearts for God. In Jesus' name, amen. And we finish our special <laughs> Reconnect Nativity service with a wonderful song, The Splendor of the King.
been wonderful to worship with you in church. Wonderful to see such a wide range of ages together, joyful. Wonderful to know, oh, if you see me playing with my phone, I'm greeting the people who are online. <laughs> it's, they're part of our church too. We're a spread out congregation now, aren't we? Some of us here, and some of us in here. And so I chat with them to say hello so they know we care. Because each person worshipping today in the building or on the end of YouTube is precious to us and precious to God. May the joy that comes only in Christ be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and all those you love. Amen.